Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number up to 9 and we're going to look at subtraction questions. Now in the previous tutorial, we used the number line. However, in this tutorial, we're going to use a slightly different method. Now to begin with, we're going to have a look at the two questions we're going to be working through. The two different questions. We have 7 minus something equals 3 and the second one we have is something minus 4 equals 2. Something minus 4 equals 2. So in this example the missing number is in different positions. Okay. For addition it doesn't matter but for subtraction it does. Now we can use the number line however suppose you don't have a pen and paper what we're going to do is use the head oops I'll just erase that and start again that wasn't written very well head and fingers method it's also known as a counting method okay now what we're going to do is we're going to start with seven okay and we're going to take away three okay I know we're subtracting over here but it means the same thing. This question, and let me just write this again, could easily be rewritten as 7 minus 3 equals the missing number. Okay, So we can change the positions and nothing in terms of minus or plus changes. Okay? So what we're looking at is 7 minus 3. Now the head and fingers method, what we're going to do is we're going to say, and let me draw the little stick figure over here. Now imagine this is me or it's you. Okay, a slightly smiley face. And what we're going to say is there is seven on my head. So I want you to say this. There is seven on my head and I want you to hold out three fingers. One, two, three. Okay, so you should be holding out three fingers. There is seven on my head and three on my hand. So what you're going to do is we're going to start at seven and we're going to subtract three. So let's subtract it. Each time you, you take away, make sure you close one of the fingers. So we're starting at seven. You now have six, five, and four. That is our answer, four. Seven minus four equals three. Okay, and that's a very useful method. Have a practice, make sure you understand the principles, and with practice you will get faster and you will also improve in terms of accuracy. Now let's move on to our second one. This time we have something minus four equals two. Something minus four equals two. Now we've done this before, to make this easier, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 4 and move it across to the right. Now the 4 was a minus, so therefore if we move it across, it becomes a plus. So the question can be rewritten as something equals 2 plus 4. Okay, the minus has become a plus. Just understand that concept, okay? This is now very simple to do. Now again, we're going to use the head and fingers method. Okay, I'm just going to write it short, head and fingers. So we've got our stick figure again. Imagine this is me or you. And let's pick the larger number. We've got two and four. Let's say there is four on my head. How many fingers are you going to hold out? Well, we're going to hold out two. So we're starting at four, and this time we are not taking away. We're not minusing as in the first example. We are adding. So we're starting at four, and we're going to be adding. So each time you add a finger, make sure you close the finger. So we've got four, five, and six. That is our answer. Six equals 2.4. 
Go back to the original question. 6 minus 4 equals 2. 6 minus 4 equals 2. So we've used the head and fingers method for two different examples where the missing number is in different positions. Therefore, we're doing this slightly differently. Okay, just understand the principles of how we've done example A and how we've done example B. So that is how we find the missing number with numbers up to 9 for subtraction questions using the head and fingers method.